Happy birthday, Papa. I rejoice with you and your family with 82 hearty cheers. No doubt, the birthday came at a time the redeemed Christian Church of God, RCCG, has been coming under intense attack. Though with divine wisdom, neither you nor your people deemed it fit to respond. The barrage of attacks later shifted to your person and family. Still no response. Sir, you know what I am talking about here. The demise of banker Herbert Wigwe, considered to be a major financier of the projects of City of David Parish. As soon as the news of his death filtered in, pronto, journalists and those who call themselves journalists of various shades started launching attacks. One, to utilize a long-awaited opportunity to pull down RCCG, your person and family, and two, to secure a huge number of views from their already monetized social media platforms. In essence, attacking God's works and people to make money. Hmm. The attacks and your attendant golden silence, however, came with great lessons for some of us, more so on the accusation that you have positioned your son to take over from Pastor Iluyobade. As a good friend of the RCCG, and by extension the Adeboye family, I know your son, Pastor Deulu, to have been worshipping at the City of David Church. He has just been made an assistant pastor in charge, while Iluyomade is a regional pastor. In his region, he has about 15 senior pastors who have been provincial pastors for more than 10 years who can conveniently replace him if the need arises. For instance, former Nigerian Vice President Professor Yemi Oshibajo's province is under that region. Likewise, the provinces of ex back of industry boss Kayode Kwiton and that of Ben Akabweze, former DG Budget Office, and more. So, where is the place of your son? Another satanically trending issue is the burial arrangement of Wigwe. I hear the city of David's parish will hands off. Great, but the burial processes will still be coordinated by RCCG. I know RCCG is one all over the world. After all said and done, I discover it is deliberate the RCCG has not spoken, even in the wake of provocations by these so-called writers who are now mostly CEOs of this TV and that TV. No thanks to the inability of the Nigerian government to halt this ugly trend of proliferation of online platforms. It may interest you, sir, to know that since we started running 24 hours of transmission on Nikon Sats since 2019 as Clearview TV, we now have Clearview Television, Clearview Satellite, Clearview Cable, and lately Clear TV, with some of them duly registered with the Corporate Affairs Commission, CAC. In conclusion, Papa, I thank you. The spiritually matured silence against this barrage of attacks has taught many of us to be silent in the wake of intentional provocation. This world is indeed a place for many custodians, operators, and sponsors of provocation waiting to use your reactions against you. And the job appears so simple to carry out as their chief sponsor, the father of lies in John chapter 10 verse 10, who has come to steal, to kill, and to destroy, is behind them strong and mighty. With this divine tactic of silence by you, Papa, and the RCCG, I now believe more than ever before that the body of Christ indeed will be marching on, and the gate of hell shall not prevail. Again, happy birthday, sir, and we pray for many happy, fruitful returns in good health. Shalom. Mm -hmm.